welcome back students we were discussing the air pollution the sources of the air pollutions the different uh, types of the air pollutions sorry pollutants how to control these air pollutants and the different methods it has been used to control air pollutants now we will be discussing the different contents like the air prevention and control of pollution and which is the air act of 1981 so in this the air prevention and control of pollution act which has been released in 1981 uh, first is industrialization and urbanization have result in a profound deterioration of india's air quality so because of developing uh, the india is a developing country we are we have been uh, urbanizing the areas and we have been industrializing the uh, required cities because of those the india's air quality has been reduced mm, of the 3 million premature deaths in the world that occur each year it is because of air pollution the highest numbers are assessed to occur in india even uh, to say that because of this air pollution the ozone layer it is been depleting depleting and it is more in india or the indian country or the nation only and among these 3 million premature deaths in premature in the sense uh, the baby if it is newborn within some period it's it, may, it will die because of uh, to adjust to the environment according to the world health organization the capital city of india the new delhi is one of the top 10 most polluted cities in the world and if you have, if you have been seen the news there you might have been uh, seen that because of the fog which is been created or it is been, it is been named as the smog which is been created due to the pollutions or the pollutants which has been uh, present in the atmosphere we was disturbing the traffic of the delhi even uh, they uh, used to wear the masks those who are riding the bike even those who are uh, driving the car they used to wear the mask because of the difference in the breathing things next the survey indicate that new delhi the incidence of respiratory diseases due to air pollution is about 12 times the national average the act provides for the prevention control and abatement of air pollution whatever this act they have been passed in 1981 it helps in controlling preventing and abating this air pollutions and it is it is also provides for the establishment of boards with a view to carrying out the aforesaid purposes so the different purposes will be discussed in here the powers and the functions of central board so the advise the central government on any matter concerning the improvement of quality of air and the prevention control or abatement of air pollution the central government it is going to advise for controlling and preventing this air pollution by different methods or improvising the quality of the air and plan and cause to be executed a nation wide program for the prevention control or abatement of air pollution coordinate the activities of the state and resolve disputes among them 
organized through mass media comprehensive program regarding the prevention control or abatement of air pollution lay down standards for the quality of air collect and disseminate information in respect of matters relating to air pollution perform such other functions as may be prescribed in different matters next we will understand the functions of state boards to plan a comprehensive program for the prevention control or abatement of air pollution and to secure the execution thereof to advise the state government on any matter concerning the prevention control or abatement of air pollution to collect and disseminate information relating to air pollution to advise the state government with respect to suitability of air any premises or location for carrying on any industry which is likely to cause air pollution perform such other functions as many as may be prescribed or as may from time to time be ensured and trusted to it by the central board or the by the state government so this ends the video thank you